Today's lesson has to do with uh, logarithms, attributes of logarithms. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of explore what we're talking about. Uh, we're going to go ahead and graph exponential functions, which you are familiar with. So we're going to graph 2 to the power x. And I'm always asked, where do you start? Well, if I were you, I'd start like a negative 2. So when, when x is negative 2, it's 0.25. When x is negative 1, we say it's 0.5. When x is 0, 1, 1, 2, and I think you get the pattern. Now we're going to go ahead and graph. So we have a negative 2 and 0.25, negative 1 and 0.5. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 8, and we notice that it does increase, the y value does increase rapidly, and we do have a horizontal asymptote. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is to graph the inverse. Remember, uh, think about a minute, what is the inverse? Okay, so remember that the inverse, you are going to have to switch uh, the x and the y value. So this is 0 0.25, negative 2. This is negative 1. I'm sorry, this is negative 0 0.5. Let me take that back. So it's... 0.5, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, and then 16 and 4. So you kind of just have to estimate. So we have 0.25 is negative 2. And then we have 0.5 is negative 1. Then we have 1, 0, 2, 1. 3, I'm oh, sorry, 4 is 2, and then we have 8, which is 1, 2, 3. So this is the inverse, and I would like for you to do a better job of drawing the inverse than I did. So there's the inverse. So you're probably asking, okay, so if this is y equals 2 to the power x, and this here is the inverse, there's a name for that inverse, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, we're gonna, it's, there's a name. Now, I do want you to see one of the side effects of an inverse. You notice that there's sort of like a reflection going on, and if you said there is a reflection or you you uh, kind of suspect the reflection and that's correct uh, remember that an inverse is reflected over the y equals x equation and I have talked about this before this is your mirror so go ahead and draw your mirror So there's your mirror. Now there is a name for that inverse, and by the way, that the, the, the name of that inverse is called a logarithm. So you're going to say that um, y equals the log base 2 of x. So let me write that down. So we're going to say g of x, or let's use the correct notation, the inverse of x is equal to the logarithm base 2 of x. So we call the inverse of the exponential function the log function. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. We call the, ex the exponential function the log function, the inverse of the log function. The logarithmic function can help us find the exponent needed 
to raise a base to a target number. We call the exponent the logarithm. So all of this is really, really important. So what you need to understand is that the exponential function and the logarithm are inverse of each other. So here we have the exponential equation and the logarithmic equation, and we said that these are inverse of each other. And since they're inverse of each other, you can go back and forth. Remember, there's some uh, vocabulary here. Uh, this is called this is called the base, and of course, you see the base here. X is the exponent, and here is uh, the exponent, and the A is the the answer to the exponential equation and so a right here will be considered the answer so the goal for this part of the lesson is we're going to go ahead and be able to go from one from your uh, equation or exponential form to your log form and then you will be able to go from log form to an exponential form so what you're going to do when you're dealing with uh, exponential form and going to log you're going to say log and of course you got to know what the base is in this case the base is 2 and of course a is the answer the answer is 16 and you're going to set that equal to the exponent in this case it's 4 okay so the next one to find the inverse it's going to be log base of 4 and I know that the answer is 4 so the exponent is 1. The next one is log base 5 and I know the answer is um, the answer is 1 and the exponent is 0. And then yes you can have variables so you have log base of 3 the answer is 81 and the exponent is x. So this is where we're going from exponential to log. So now we're going to go from logarithm to exponential form. So I'm going to use a different color. So the base here is 10. That's called common base. The exponent is 2. 10 squared is 100. The second one we have log. And the way you read this, it's log base 8 of 0.125 is equal to negative 1. So the exponent is 8, I'm sorry, the base is 8, the exponent is negative 1, and that equals to 0.125. The next one is log base 5 of 5 is equal to 1, so the base is 5, the exponent is 1, so it's going to be 5. And of course the last one, we have 2, the base is 2, so we have log base 2 of 64 is equal to x. So 2 to the power x is equal to 64. There is, there are special properties that you have to be aware of. Uh, for example, if you have the log base b of b, it doesn't matter what those b values are. If they're the same, it's going to be 1. Okay. And you indicate it's here, b raised to the first power. So log base 10 of 10 is 1, which means it's 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10. Now another special uh, property, we have log base b of 1. It doesn't matter what the value of b is, it doesn't matter the base. Any base that's raised to the power 0 is always 1. So uh, that's where you see that example. We have b raised to the 0 power. And that's equal to 1, so log base 10 of 1 is equal to 0, which is equivalent to saying 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Special logarithms, um, if you don't have a number for the base, by default, that's base 10. That's base 10. Okay? If uh, you have, uh, let's say, base E, it's not going to be logarithm. It's actually going to be natural log. Uh, this is called natural log. 
in the calculator it's it it says ln that's a natural log i don't know why they switched the l in the end but that's the way it is written in the in the uh, calculator so here's some special properties It says we can graph the logarithmic functions by taking what we know about the inverse functions and exponential functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our calculator. We have f of x. Uh, type in the parentheses uh, 0 0.9 close parentheses and I'm going to delete that and then you have the power to the x power. So I'm going to start with it says to start with negative 2. So I'm going to make that black there. So it's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So when x is negative 1, I'm just going to estimate 1.2. When x is, I mean, when x is negative 2, it's 1.2. When x is negative 1, it's 1.1. 1 .1. When x is 0, it's 1. When x is 1, it's 0.9. And then when x is 2, it's 0.81. And so this is my function, and this is considered to be the inverse. Okay, but let me first graph what we have here. We have negative 2, 1.2, negative 1, 1.1, oh, it's right here. And then 0, 1, 1, 0.9. And then two okay so let me see how the graph is gonna look like yeah I kind of figure it's gonna be like like that so so it's uh, in fact I'm, I'm going to kind of extend this uh, my table just so I can get an actual an act an actual so I can see what's going on. So negative 4 is 1.5. Negative 4 is 1.5. Uh, I'm going to try negative 10. Negative 10. And negative 10, it's, it's uh, 2 point. So it's kind of gradually decreasing. So it's gradually... And uh, I apologize, I didn't, I didn't graph this correct, so it's kind of gradually decreasing. Okay. Let me go ahead and graph the inverse. So you have 1.2, negative 2, 1.1, negative 1, 1, 0, 0.91, 0 0.81, 2. So I have 1.2. Two. One point one is negative one. One is zero. One is zero. And in this case, we had said negative ten. Yes. Th so three. So it's going to look something like this. Three. There we go. So there is our, there is the, um, there is the function. This is y equals um, two to the power x, and this is my inverse. Y equals a logarithm. The base is 0.9, and that's x. Okay. So let me write down the logarithm. So it's log. The base is 0.9 and it's going to be x. Okay? 